Today in this video, I am going to tell you about very important statistical application that you can use for your statistical analysis. So it's a mobile application and you can install it on your Android phone or an iPhone. Uh, you can also install this application on your Windows machine using method that I have shown you in my previous video. So for installing that uh, application or the Android application on on your windows machine you will have to watch my previous video about that so i have already installed an application here on my windows machine called blue stacks through which you can install your android applications open this blue stacks software on your windows machine okay on windows once you open the blue stacks you will see all the android applications that you have installed and also you will see the google play store so this is the Google Play Store. You will have to open it and install an application called Statistics and Sample Size. Open this Google Play Store. Search for Statistics and Sample Size. So this is the application I have already installed application. So once again, go to your home and then you can see the application here, Statistics and Sample Size Pro. Just click on this application, it will be opened. You can see the main menu of the application as soon as you open it. So the first menu is about sample size calculation. A sample can be calculated depending on what parameters you have with you. So on the basis of different parameters, you can calculate your sample sizes, which depends in turn on your study. So click on this sample size calculator and you will see uh, the sub menu of the sample size calculator. Here you can click on any of these value depending on which study you are going to conduct or which parameters you have with you for the sample size calculation. So let's suppose you click on estimate a proportion. Here it will give you the formula as well as the option it requires for calculating the sample size. So for example, here you type estimated proportion is suppose 0.5, estimated error is suppose 0.2, and then just you need to click on calculate and it says that minimum sample size needed will be 25. Now you just change the estimated proportion for example to 0.8 and see now the sample size has reduced to 16 only. Let's decrease this error and again calculate the sample size has now increased to 62. Okay now go back on Windows machine you can click on this button here to go back to the previous menu. So this is our previous menu. You can select any of these options for the calculation of your sample sizes for your study. For example, you are conducting the cohort study. So click on cohort study. Here you will need these five parameters or you can say statistic. So proportion of disease in non-exposure type, for example, 0.2, relative risk to risk ratio. This is suppose uh, 0.4 and ratio of non-exposure to ex exposure is suppose 0.7 and now let's calculate the sample size. Go back, close this sample size calculator, go to the random sampling. This will tell you about how to take a sample or which objects uh, you should take from a population to be included in your sample. For example, the first sub menu of the random sampling is simple random number. So here click on simple random number. For example, you have given numbers to the persons of the population from one to like 100. And then what number of subjects you want to include in your sample. For example, they are like 20. And C is uh, just a random number. You just put any number here. For example, you put one and then generate your sample. So this has generated this sample for you. So you can take these uh, objects from the population for your study. Go back, come to this third option, statistical distribution tables. Click open. Here you can see the tables or you can calculate the values uh, from different uh, distributions. The first option here is the most common distribution which is called normal distribution. You just click here and give the value of Z statistics. For example, the value of Z statistics I am giving is two. And then I say extract. 
it will extract the p value from the normal distribution so the p value it has extracted for the value of z2 is 0 0.0455 okay now go back so these are all different kinds of statistical distribution tables you can select any one from these uh, tables the next option here available is the statistical calculator so it has different options like confident interval for a mean confident interval for a proportion z test to compare two proportions independent t test chi square t test chi square test one way anova etc for example you select independent t test and here it also tells you about the method how will you have to give these values so here it says that set alpha level and enter one enter number one option is here here they need is the number of observations and then the second option is the mean the third is the standard deviation separated by phase so example given here is 250 is the number of observations 22.5 is the uh, mean value and 3.6 is the is the standard deviation so for each group you will have to give these two values so for group one i for example give 200 space the the mean value is 50 for example and the standard deviation is so suppose 20. for the second group uh, 220 observations 52 for example is the mean value and 2.4 is suppose the the uh, standard deviation the third option you need here is the whether the variance you want to be equal unequal or you want it to be automatic so i kept it on automatic and then click on calculate it will calculate the different uh, things for example the t statistic it has calculated is minus seven the degree of freedom is 418 and the p value is uh, less than 0 0.001 okay now let's come to the next uh, main menu uh, is the statistical analysis from a data file click on this for this you will have to open a uh, data file you need to click on this open data file it says that it only supports a dot csv file to be analyzed so just uh, you will need to browse this file in here but for the time being let's use the sample data click on this sample data the number of variables in the sample data is 10 and number of observations are 641 so it has got different variables like id metage ht y etc then you need to click on next okay after next you can select one of these statistical analysis tool that will calculate for you different types of statistics for example you click on descriptive statistics so now from your sample data that that we have selected there or uploaded you select the variable for example i selected this uh, variable as b bet and then the statistics you want to uh, calculate is the for example frequency and percentage and then calculate okay it then calculates for you the frequency and statistics so sorry we have selected uh, a continuous variable for frequency you will have to select the year here uh, frequency and percentage and click on calculate so it has calculated the uh, values for group one the frequency is 104 and percentage is 1.162 uh, and you can see the values for other groups as well okay now select this sex option and the same values calculate calculate it now let's select a numerical variable like case weight let's calculate the mean and standard deviations calculate okay now let's go back and select graphics so select your uh, variable from here for example again this sex and pie chart you can select other charts like bar box or histogram but now first select pie chart and generate so it will generate the pie chart for you this is the percentage of group one and this is the percentage of group zero and let's uh, select uh, another 
plot like bar chart and generate let's change this thing to carrier for bar chart and then again calculate the third option we have here is box plot for box plot we will need this uh, the, the continuous variable so this is the box plot and the third one is histogram again this uh, for histogram you need a uh, need a cont continuous variable and let's go back to other tests like independent t-test select your dependent variable from here like uh, this is t-test so uh, dependent variables for example sex independent variable is like this weight and variance let's keep it at automatic and analyze okay it says independent variable should be dichotomous so independent variable should be this one and dependent variable should be like weight so now it can calculate the t test for you go back and you can select this chi square test or one way ANOVA so let's select this one way ANOVA and uh, here it says that uh, what is the dependent variable dependent variable is career and i think dependent variable is your this weight and your this variable group variables and the the carrier now click on analyze so it will give you the results of one way ANOVA for two variables okay these are the cross call wallace test logistic regression etc the next option is about the choosing the correct test so here they have given a very beautiful table from which you can decide about the test you will need to perform depending on your input variable and outcome variable for example here they have given the outcome variables in columns and input variables in rows so if your input variable is binary and your outcome variable is also binary then you will have to perform chi-squared or fisher's exact test and if your input variable is categorical but it has more than two categories and your outcome variable is ordinal for example then you will have to perform cross call wallace test and suppose your uh, outcome variable is quantitative normal and your input variable is also quantitative normal then the test you will need to perform is pearson and linear regression so this is a very beautiful table you can use this in your statistics in your statistical analysis and you can and can be of uh, great help to you in your statistical analysis the next is uh, the about the tutorial it says that it has tutorials about stata r spss and pspp the next option here is let's relax here they have given different games like this is 2048 number game this is hot or code number game matching game and monster mind game so let's select this hot or cold number and uh, this says hotter cooler and uh, this one is winner number of guesses remaining 10 so you'll have to guess a number we have chosen a number you have 10 attempts so they have picked a number in between 1 and 100 you will have to guess so for example i guess it is 47 it's wrong 62 wrong 10 wrong 12 wrong 67 wrong 100 wrong 24 wrong 41 wrong 60 wrong 54 sorry no more guess game over so i didn't guess the number correctly this was a game and the next option is about the preferences so you can set default preferences for example here they have set the alpha value at 0 0.05 and beta value at 0.2 you can change these default values the next option is about option. here in about section they have subsections about author the author is this is the picture this is the photo of the author and his name is mr thai thon truck who is a lecturer uh, at Ho uh, chai min city university of medicine and pharmacy in vietnam he has the background in public health uh, measuring in biostatistics epidemiology and research methods okay the next option is the help 
So it's uh, a small help available for you. The next is reference. If you use this software in your research work, uh, you will have to mention the software name as well as you will have to cite these references. The last thing is about the version of the application I have installed. The version is one. So that was all about this beautiful application available on Google Play Store. We are very thankful to the author of this application who has devised such a beautiful and easy to use app for Android users. And uh, here uh, you can also use it on uh, Windows. And we should also be thankful to the BlueStacks author through which we can use this application on your Windows machine as well. So thank you for watching the video and bye.